Or is... Do you even want a relationship? Because you just told your client you're not looking for a boyfriend or a husband. Grayson, <laughs> that's my client. I, I tell them anything, it's a job. I mean, but you sound real sure about what you don't want. Grayson, I'm gonna say it again. It's a client, okay? Okay, so we get Grayson popping up in the series for the second time. I believe the first time was his introductory scene at the uh, party with Chris and Maurice. And they seem to hit it off pretty well. And over the course of a couple episodes, uh, Maurice told Sabrina, he's like, hey, I got some news for you. So, you know, the first thing to notice is that Maurice is being smart and taking it slow. But Grayson did something a bit suspect to me and a bunch of fans, which was to casually just waltz into Maurice's apartment. Now, to be completely honest, in the Tyler Perry universe, it is not uncommon at all for characters to just waltz into someone's house, apartment, office without knocking or anything. Even if, especially they have a key, it's like they'll just barge in unannounced. Or if the door is unlocked, they just so happen to go in there without any sort of second guessing. And this really reminds me of when Fatima came into Karen's apartment. Just like with Maurice and Grayson, yes, the door was ajar. But that does not mean you just waltz into someone's place unannounced without permission but that's just me that's how i was raised hey it is what it is but grayson um he overheard maurice talking with one of his clients i think the client was like wait will i marry you you love me no i don't want love a boyfriend or a marriage or anything like that and then grayson overhearing this for some reason you know he did ask us like so did you really mean what you were telling that uh client like do you really not looking for anything and then Maurice just tried to con tell him, like, look, Grayson, that's a client. Like, I'm not trying to get intimate, romantic with a client. Like, you know, this is my job, but I'm not trying to, you know, get any of these people thinking, like, you know, there will be anything serious that happens between me and them. So for some reason, Grayson opted to just walk out on Maurice canceling the whole jazz date and dinner plan. So... That felt kind of weird. I don't know why. I guess this whole episode was about the different dating um, aspects of these characters falling apart. Danny with Tony's kids. Um, you know, Andy with Jordan, Jordan's allegations. Sabrina wondering if Rich is the guy because she might have a baby by herself. And now it's down to Grace and just randomly showing up and then randomly leaving because he heard Maurice say something. I mean, I feel like there is a difference between a client versus a person that, you know, Maurice is dating, but that's just me. Uh, do you think Grayson's really gone? Do you think Maurice will convince him otherwise? Or will Maurice just say, oh, well, on to the next one, which honestly he probably should do. I mean, if Grayson got bent out of shape from one thing he overheard and he doesn't believe Maurice that he was literally talking to a client. That might be a bit of a red flag there, but what do you think? I mean, honestly, as long as Grayson doesn't turn out to be another scumbag like Hugh, he seems to be all right. I honestly don't have that much of a, you know, I don't I don't have an opinion on the guy because we only see him twice. My, my the only thing that stood out to me is like, man, don't 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 just be strolling up in somebody's place without knocking first. But that, again, that was just how I was raised. So, what do you think? Did Maurice mean what he said? Do you think he's serious about not wanting a relationship or was he indeed just talking for client, not trying to get somebody, you know, too sprung over him to the point where it's like they'll pop up at his front door one day saying, hey, I'm here to get married. Wait, what? I don't know. But let's talk about it in the comments, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.